in the media conference with Lal Goyal, which is brought to you by V4 News, Global TV, V4 Stream, Malnadu TV, News Gaonse, Samvad Sarokar News, Organ Donation India Foundation and Gyan. Our endeavor is to enlighten you with the current topic. And today's topic is role of youth in sports. But before I will go to the topic, I would like to inform you that today is a National Voters Day. National Voters Day is celebrated on January 25th every year since 2011, all across the country to mark the Foundation Day of Election Commission of India. Election Commission of India was formed on 25th January 1950. The main purpose of the National Voters Day celebration is to encourage, facilitate and maximize enrollment, especially for the new voters. Dedicated to the voters of the country, the day is utilized to spread awareness among voters and for promoting informed participation in the electoral process. Today, we are also celebrating National Tourism Day. National Tourism Day is celebrated on the 25th January every year. This celebration is all about to cultivate and create awareness among the society globally on the significance of tourism and its social, political, financial, and also cultural worth and value. As we know that India is a diverse nation and it offers several forms of tourism, including cultural, nature, heritage, educational, sports, rural, ecotourism, etc. This diversity of India makes it a prime attraction for the tourists. Media conference with Lal Goyal wishes you on National Voters Day and National Tourism Day. Now coming to our main topic, that is role of youth in sports. Sports is such an activity that it can be taken up by anyone at any age and at any point in life. Adults, children and elders, everyone alike can take part in sports. Many regard sports as a mere co-curricular or extracurricular activity in schools. However, in reality, sports play an equally important role as does education in a person's life. To achieve overall and all-round development in life, one should be well-versed in both sports and culture. While training sharpens the mind, sports sharpens the body and fitness. Thus, both are essential. There are numerous advantages of involving oneself in sports. First and foremost, as known by all and very definitely, we competitions increase the physical fitness of an individual. And additionally, sports also contribute to building stable mental well-being of a person. Various researchers show that people who are in the daily practice of sports in any form record better mental as well as physical health. Moreover, sports also eliminates the risk of a person catching diseases or facing any bodily interruptions. Competitions increase immunity and increase people's stamina. The world's most accessible and practiced sports is running, while association football is the most popular spectator sport. The history of sports extends back to the ancient world. The physical activity that developed into sports had early links with ritual welfare and entertainment. Sports is particularly key to youth development, physical education, physical activity and sport in general contribute to the development of soft skills and impart values such as teamwork, solidarity and respect, all of which are crucial to building peaceful and cohesive societies. The Kajan Action Plan recognizes the importance of this dimension and also emphasizes a holistic approach that ties youth empowerment with gender and sports. This task force provides young leaders with a safe place to discuss issues such as sport and the SDGs, prevention of violent extremism, non-communicable diseases, gender equality and climate action. The Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports is a branch of the Government of India which administers the Department of Youth Affairs and the Department of Sports in India. Although hockey is India's national sports, but cricket is the most popular sport in India. And to 
discuss today's very, very important topic, the role of youth in sports. We have uh, our guest, chief guest, and he is Mr. Surinder Khanna. Mr. Surinder Khanna is the former Indian cricket player. When the selectors decided to drop Sayyid Kirmani for the tour of England in 1979, Mr. Khanna was given the big break. He was the designated wicketkeeper for India in 1979 World Cup. He played in all the three World Cup games. He was in the Indian team for the 1984 Asia Cup held at Sharjah. He scored half centuries in low scoring encounters against Sri Lanka and Pakistan. India won the tournament and Mr. Khanna was named Man of the Series. He was a member of the Indian team that went to Pakistan in October the same year. Between 1991-1992 in Scotland, Edinburgh, he played as a professional cricketer for Courts Fine Cricket Club and Stewart's Melville Cricket Club. During the 1991 session, season, he scored 1,098 runs at an average of 91.5. Nowadays, he is a cricketing expert of All India Radio, Doordarshan, and of course, on real, on real uh, media con with media conference with Lal Goyal. Uh, welcome, uh, 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 Mr. Surinder Khanna, on our show. Mr. Surinder Khanna, as you know, the sports is a very, very important aspect, especially for the youth. And you are one of the leading person who has, from the childhood, who is involved in the sports, and still you are involved, actively involved in the sports. You are the one person who was, during the IPL, you were there for the whole IPL session uh, in UAE, was the entire, uh, all the matches there as the, uh, governing body member of the IPL, you were there. So definitely your motivational and inspirational talk, which you are going to say now, will be very much uh, encouraging to the youths who are participating here or who are viewing our show today. Role of youth in sports, Mr. Surinder Khanna, please. Well, good morning. Hello to everyone who is participating uh, at the moment and all those who will watch it later. A very cold morning from Delhi. Well, this is quite uh, an important and uh, very interesting topic. Uh, the youth has been talked about by our Honorable Prime Minister as well, that India has probably 65% uh, of the youth of the world in India. And the coming uh, uh, decade or so, they have to take the country forward and participation in various fields, activities, sporting as well as political or uh, scientific uh, defense, any area. Uh, I'm proud to say <clears throat> the youth of uh, the country, India, uh, are actively uh, participating in it and uh, the courage uh, the conviction which they show, thanks to the technology, despite the pandemic hitting the entire world, so many lives are being lost, but the enthusiasm of uh, Indian youth is commendable. Tomorrow we'll have the uh, 26th January parade, which is not going to be a full parade, but participation of uh, our young boys and girls will be visible in that as well. Uh, recently, I think a uh, couple of weeks back, it was an all women team which flew 17 hours nonstop. And it was commanded by all the four women. So women empowerment is also there. And all these things uh, enhances our morale at this age as well. And uh, we feel very proud of our young boys and girls, women doing wonders for the country and sports because I, Actively, actively pursued uh, since my college days. Uh, school, I was a science student. I wanted to become an engineer, but then I fell in love with cricket, joined Hindu College, one of the finest colleges in the country. And uh, I captained the college team in the final year, played for the college, university, then under 22, Ranji Trophy, Dulip Trophy, 
and then for the country in the World Cup, Asia Cup. And for 14, 15 years, I played first class cricket as well for Delhi and North Zone. And uh, myself, Kapil Dev, we were very young when we came into the team for the World Cup. Karsan Gavri as well. Three of us were earmarked uh, to do wonders for the country. Unfortunately, I didn't have a great World Cup and the series in England. But Kapil and Karsan carried on for many, many years. And then I got a chance to come back after four or five years in 84 in Sharjah, where I excelled and became man of the tournament. I also got an opportunity through my friend Vinod in London, and I got a contract to play in Stuart's Melville and Kirstorfin Cricket Club in Edinburgh, Scotland, where I made many friends and uh, the conditions were very difficult over there. The pitches were wet and uh, we hardly get to see the sun over there. But wherever there is degree of difficulty, it brings out the real character in you. And I adapted to the situation and the conditions over there. Mm -hmm. And in one season, I scored at an average of nearly 92, which probably uh, uh, is uh, one of the finest, uh, you know, in my career, cricketing career. Uh, Apart from personal glories, whatever, you know, when you play for a long, long time, you're bound to achieve certain uh, landmarks. That should inspire some of the people, those who come in close contact with you, that with personal examples, uh, like in my time, the heroes were Farooq Engineer, Bishan Singh Bedi, Sunil Gavaska in cricket, then Ajit Pal Singh in hockey, Ashok Dhanchan, Zafar Iqbal, and many hockey players because hockey is our national game. And we used to uh, think when watching them practice and play for the country, win the Olympic and the World Gold Cup, World Gold Medal, we used to feel proud and also feel that if one day uh, I personally, as a youngster, get an opportunity to represent my state, my country, I should also emulate them. And I'm fortunate that uh, our captain, Bishan Singh Bedi, I was very lucky to play in the company of Mohinder Ramanath, Surinder Ramanath, Chetan Chauhan, he's no more. We lost him uh, very recently. He was my opening partner. And uh, Madan Lal and many cricketers, you know, who were doing very well for India at that time. And uh, I got a chance to play alongside them, <laughs> be in the dressing room with the likes of Gavaskar, Gundappa Vishwanath, one of the finest human beings and batsmen India has produced. Colonel Vengsaka, Karsun Gavri, B.S. Chandrasekhar, you know, one of the finest leg spin googly bowlers, match winner on his day. Many others, Brijesh Patel, Kirmani, so many of them, you know, if I miss any name, it's no disrespect to them. Uh, we looked up to them. The present generation look up to Kohli, Pujara, Rehane, Dhoni, etc., you know, Tendulka, and all these uh, superstars in cricket, the young people, they get motivated by looking at them and the exploits and the performances. See how India defeated Australia in Australia. After being skittled out for 36, they rose from that and with Virat Kohli back for parental duty, Indian team uh, won a series in Australia. We've won many others in the past, but this one in the recent past, I haven't seen something like this. I feel really proud the way Indian uh, cricketers was in the last two matches. Uh, many of our uh, main players were not there. <coughs> Excuse me. Many of our uh, star players were either injured or not fully fit, but some of the net bowlers like Natarajan, Washington, Sundar, they got opportunity to play. Siraj, what a find. They all uh, excelled like uh, seasoned campaigners for India and help Indian team. Uh, from that point, uh, 36 all out, uh, like last time we got out for 42, it was in the year 74, I believe, or 73. And after that, this 36 will hound us for many, many years to come. But the Indian boys showed character 
and uh, Shatul Thakur and all these young guys, Rishabh Pant, uh, they all uh, got together. And uh, of course, the coach and the captain, Rehane, Ravi Shastri, they need to be complimented, the entire support staff as well. Because the pandemic situation, then all the people are injured, keeping all these problems behind and then winning a series in Australia after losing the first test match and being out for 36. Uh, since I've played at that level, uh, I can imagine and understand what the situation would have been, what the state of mind must have been of uh, our Indian cricketers. Even uh, the diehard supporters desert you. But I didn't. I spoke to Ravi when we got out for 36 and I said, I still have faith and confidence and this Australian team is not that great. So if you can get the boys together, give them a pep talk. Ki isse zada niche nahi ja sakte hum. Shattis pe out ho gaye. Sari world humiliate kar rahi hai hume. Ab yahan se utna hai. Ye character dikhana padega. And uh, you've been a senior cricketer yourself. We have played together. Give them a pep talk. I'm backing you. Many of people like me who have played are backing you. And we have faith in you. And they did wonders. They proved me right. I'd given an interview on radio and I said, this Australian team is not that strong. In ki batting me cable, do jane hai, Labushain and uh, Steve Smith. Or hamari batting me che batsmen hai. We can beat them if we, if we gel together, if we put our minds together and we work as a unit because unity is strength. And the youth exuberance, when it comes in, if the energy is channelized and controlled in a manner, uh, you always produce uh, this kind of results. And that's what happened. I had predicted it came true. It gave me the satisfaction that I could read the game and the situation pretty well, even now, after being, uh, you know, retired from active cricket for the last 25, 30 years. So if I can still read the game, which is being uh, played far away on pitches where I can't be on the ground and uh, seeing the talent and the uh, ability of our uh, young boys. So that was very heartening in the recent past. Now we have the England team, which will be touring India. Uh, we can't have the spectators on the ground like they did in Australia. Australia has controlled the pandemic very well. And uh, that's why they could allow the spectators to come and visit. But in India, unfortunately, the vaccination is on, like in many parts, many countries in the world, to strengthen our immune system. But still, in no way, the authorities are allowing spectators on the ground. The teams will be in bio-bubble and they will have to adhere to the regulation, the SOPs, which are formed for keeping everything in order. And uh, coming to the youth once again, uh, whatever you want to do, decide what's your passion. Whatever your passion is, uh, tell your parents early on in your life and then pursue that passion. Like, I wanted to be an engineer. I'll give you my example. And I told my dad that I'm in love with cricket and I'll work hard in cricket and I'll achieve something in cricket. Please allow me to pursue this. It wasn't an easy decision for our parent from uh, science to political science and economics, which I just took so that I can work hard in cricket for eight, 10 hours every day. And then maybe in the last one week study political science, economics, in the English and just give my exams and clear my uh, graduation. At that time, my aim became playing for the country. And when I uh, used to discuss this with a few of my close friends, cricketers, who were far better than me, they used to laugh. So you will also face that kind of uh, situation, but take that in your stride. Let that laugh at you, uh, encourage you, and uh, you can have strong determination to prove your friends wrong and uh, 
pursue your uh, uh, passion, which could be singing, which could be science, which could be IT, which could be dancing or whatever you want to do or medicine or being an engineer or whatever. Like I chose to be a cricketer and I played at the highest level. You can understand that only 400 people have represented India in the last 74, 75 years. I'm one of them. It's a country of 140 million. Aap socho, ki 140 crore ko ko. I'm 64 today. And many of my contemporaries, people don't know where they are. I'm still relevant. So this is because of cricket that I played for the country. I won the Asia Cup for the country. And the last IPL, I was there on the governing council. Now I'm not there. They have replaced me. Doesn't matter. Show must go on. So whatever you want to do in life, decide early and pursue it. You know, you should see dreams. Seeing your dreams is very important for every youngster. And then work hard. There is a phrase, let your work uh, make noise. You don't have to speak yourself. So in cricket, I always tell my students at the academy, let your performances do the talking. Let your batting, your bowling, your wicket keeping, your fielding do the talking. Not that I will do this, I will That has no meaning. And keep on having the consistency of performing every second day, every third day. If you do it once and then for two weeks there is no great performance, people will not notice you. So you have to do it very often. Like in singing, we see so many big names. Why they are there? Because every day, every concert, when you listen to them, they do so much of riyas, they do so much of hard work. They get up at 3, 4 in the morning when everyone is sleeping, uh, whether it's cold, it's raining or whatever the weather is. But they go about their riyas every morning and then Ma Saraswati blessings they require and they perform when they are on the stage. That's how they attain that level like Lata Mangeshkar Ji, Asha Bhonsle, Rafi Saab, those who are not there, but still their songs and thrill. 50-60 साल पुराना गाना भी आज भी हम सुनते हैं तो ऐसा लगता है कि जीवित है गाना म्यूजिक जिन्होंने दिया है सो so व्हाटएवर यू डू डू इट विद ऑल योर सोल हार्ट माइंड सोल जैसे मां की कुकिंग है आई विल गिव यू एन एग्जांपल देयर आर गर्ल्स आल्सो इन द प्रोग्राम एंड बॉयज आर एक्सीलेंट शेफ टू दीस डेज माय मदर यूज्ड टू डू कुकिंग माय Bhabis, my chachis, my sisters, my every lady in the house used to cook. But I always used to like the cooking which was done by my mother. My grandmom used to cook as well for me when I was young. But Maanki cooking was the best because she is the only person in the entire world universe who doesn't expect anything from you in return. She doesn't expect. And she cooks by putting her soul into what she is making for you. Ki mera beta bahut mehnat kar raha hai. My son, my daughter is working very hard. 20-20 ghante pad rahe hai. 20-20 ghante, do do shift jo hai, mehnat kar rahe hai, practice kar rahe hai. They're working so hard. And she does with all her soul. And that's why that food is so tasty. So if same feelings you can put in your passion, in your studies, in whatever you have decided to become, you will attain the same results like your mother's cooking. I did that in my life and I'm successful. I'm addressing you guys. I'm doing it with all sincerity. It is coming from the heart and I'm sure this will touch your heart too. And if few of you can take a little bit of what I am trying to reach out to you, you will also do wonders in your area of work and in your life. In the 10, 15, 20 years to come, you will be 
on a program with Lal Saab because he is going to live for 150 years. You will be the chief guest on his program. He won't pay. He won't pay even after that long. But it's worth being on a program with him because he does it with all the passion every day, every morning. It's not easy. It gets monotonous after a while. So you have to uh, have a schedule. You have to have a regimen where whatever you are pursuing doesn't get monotonous. And every morning when you get up, you're going through your uh, area of work with the same zeal, same intensity, and from the heart. And you can only do that when you love what you are doing. And I'm so fortunate that I chose cricket. It became, it's my passion. And I never felt that I uh, feel out of place or I don't like going to the ground, getting up at five in the morning, go for my jog, my run, play badminton, play table tennis, do all kinds of sports and then go for cricket. Even today, I am feeling the cold, but if I get a phone call that I have to come to the ground somewhere, I'll be ready in five minutes and on the road. That's the passion I still carry. I'm a romantic with cricket. Well, I can only say from my experience that you be a romantic with whatever you do. Just like a girl for dating. I'll make it a little humorous. Don't get me wrong. That you also start that work. Do a job so that you will come to yourself. Do a job so that the opposite sex attracts. और इनफीरियोरिटी कॉम्प्लेक्स नहीं होना चाहिए कॉन्फिडेंस इतना होना चाहिए कि ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस ना बन जाए एरोगेंस ना बन जाए सो व्हाट एवर यू वांट टू डू पुट हंड्रेड परसेंट इन इट एंड रेस्ट लीव इट टू द गॉड डेस्टिनी विल टेक यू वेयर व्हाट गॉड हैज रिटन बिफोर यू वर बोर्न एंड हार्ड वर्क नेवर गोज अनरिवॉर्डेड दैट्स वॉट आई Uh, teach my uh, or tell my young friends wherever I get an opportunity. In our days, there was a phrase Kheloge, Kudoge, Hoge, Kharab, Padoge, Likoge, Banoge, Nawab. So when I, in my school, during one of my science classes, my mathematics teacher, he's no more now, Mr. Kaushal, <clears throat> he was a wonderful human being. And we, I was very fortunate to have great faculty in a government school in Shakti Nagar number one, Delhi. And they all wanted me to be uh, clear my exam with a position. My principal, late Sri R. C. Pathak, he was a great disciplinarian. When I told my teacher, he said, uh, it was an often, afternoon school, 1.30. Uh, our school used to start at one o'clock in the afternoon, 1.30. So, That was the time for me to go to Kotla Ferocia for my Delhi school's practice. For two, three months, I didn't attend the classes. And one day when I was there, Mr. Kaushal asked, uh, who is this gentleman? He was writing on the blackboard. And he said, uh, from the left side, uh, third gentleman on, on the last bench. I was a backbencher. I never sat in the front because I used to slip out of the uh, class to catch my bus at uh, two o'clock to reach Kotla Firusha at 2.45. Three o'clock used to be my practice. So when he mentioned this, so I looked around, it was me only he was referring to. So I stood up, he said, uh, you've come to the class for the first time. I haven't seen you for two, three months. And uh, I never... Uh, believed in telling a lie. That's another uh, thing I would like to mention it to you. If you tell one lie, to cover up that, you'll have to speak 100 more lies. So always have the guts and the courage to speak the truth. So it was a very tense situation for me and I knew I could be uh, expelled also for not attending for three months, but managing to attend the first class and the last class without taking permission. And in the early morning, I used to complete my uh, copy book work, homework, and submit my 
books for uh, evaluation and my uh, books were up to date. He said, your copy is complete, but I'm seeing you for the first time in the last two and a half, three months. So I said, yes, I've been going for practice <clears throat> and uh, at Kotla Firosha, and now I'm in the Delhi schools team. So he ridiculed me sort of, you know, in front of my classmates. It wasn't a very happy situation, but I had to face it. Can you imagine? That was the year 72. And 78, 79, I played the World Cup for India in England. And when I came back in September, I got an invitation, invite from the school that uh, they want me in school for a cup of tea, which I readily accepted. <clears throat> and when I reached the school on the designated day, date, Mr. Kaushal was there and he was clapping for me and uh, his eyes were moist. And uh, I went and touched his feet and I said, it's because of you I was able to get first division in my science subjects. And I also represented the country because you said that you will become a father of a father of a father of a father of a and in front of his office, there was a board on which our merit uh, students' names were there. So I told my principal at that time in 72, sir, I'm representing North Zone schools and I might come into the Indian schools. So in the Hindustan ke schools, if I ho select or in the North Zone, mein jahan main select hua hu, we had gone to play in Calcutta. Kapil Dev, Ashok Malhotra, Emmanuel Benjamin, Rajendra Manad, many players were there. 72 ki baat kar raha hum, 1972. So I said, why don't you have my name on the notice board that I have done the school proud? But wo bhaat zada patak sahab jo hai or teachers us samay, us zamane mein, even parents, the emphasis was on studies. They wanted us to become doctor, engineer or whatever. Nobody encouraged us in sports, it was an extracurricular activity, which even today, in many of our schools, it's like that. But coming back to my principal and my teachers, and I didn't like that. So I gave them the credit that they were so pushy for me to clear my exams as a first divisioner, get into a good college, pursue higher stu studies. And uh, in a government school, can you imagine? Dasurbe fees thi. And we had that faculty, that kind of teachers who loved us, who thought about us. Ki hum achhe student bane, achhi padai karke, achhe number leke jaye. Aaj to jo hai, uh, aisa system chal pada hai, that they want you to take extra classes and pay them money. They don't teach anything in the class. You have to take special classes. Your parents have to pay extra money. We had no money. 10 rupee fee. That's it. And then to listen to the ridicule. Lala Marnath banoge, pataudi banoge. Madam, sir, kushto banenge, koshish karenge. Kyoki, without effort, without sincere effort, without the right kind of efforts, you cannot achieve results. You can't reach anywhere in life. And all those teachers felt so great. I gave them the credit. You can't prove a point and have your teacher or your father or your uncles in some kind of a terrible situation where they have to apologize. Never, never do that. And I never wanted that. I still touch their feet. Even today, after so many years, Many of them are not there, but I still thank them. Learn to thank your parents as well, who go through hell to make life comfortable for you. Think about, will you be able to do that?
So my advice to all you guys, the youth of the country, boys and girls, pursue your passion with all the vigor, with all the heart and soul, and never ever worry about the result. Results will come. A right kind of practice. There was a phrase, practice makes a man perfect. I corrected it a little bit. Correct practice brings in the correct results. Yes, a pet me dard hai, or doctor ne goli sir dard ki de di, to pet ka dard ni jayega. So, whatever you are pursuing, listen to your coach, your teacher, ask him questions many times. Don't hesitate, don't be an introvert, and work hard. The correct practice only will bring in the correct results. And do it with all the heart, all your soul. And I wish all of you all the very best. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Srinath Khanna, for giving such an inspirational, motivational talk today. I am sure all the youths who are listening here, either they are in, who are present in the conference or those who are viewing our show, going to get lots of inspirational from you today because you have enlightened everything. You have given the details how you have started your life and how you have achieved and how big you have become, but still so humble. And you have asked all the youths to be humble and give respect to the elders. That is a very, very great thing and how they should pursue their sports. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Khanna. Uh, because of the paucity of time, I will not summarize what you have said, although everyone will have understood, because you have spoken today from heart, and once anything spoken from the heart, it goes to the heart. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Karna, once again. Now, I would like to invite my first youth guest, and she is Miss Divya Shripi. Uh, Miss uh, Divya Shri, please uh, unmute yourself, introduce yourself, and speak on the topic a role of youth in sports for five minutes, please. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, good morning. My name is Devi Sri. And currently, I'm pursuing my master's in physical education from our college of physical education. Uh, uh, Miss Devi, your oh. head, is, head is up. Please bring the head down. Yes, please. Now, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, am I visible, sir? Yes. Now, yes. go ahead. Now, uh, okay. So, uh, I'm Divya currently pursuing my master's in physical education from Alvaro College of Physical Education. And basically, I'm into the field of sports from last 10 years so that I feel like the uh, sports made my lethargic mind into an active, active mind. So uh, the sport is something which gives, us a, uh, which gives us a good platform to show what uh, what we are. and. There are a lot of people who think like uh, sport is sport is the only thing where we perform, we'll get a medal, or we'll get a certificate, or we'll get a some, get some aspects. That is what uh, the people think about sport. Actually, that is not. I think that is completely wrong because there are uh, certain things that get uh, in sport apart from this medal, certificate, and trophies and all. We can, uh, if we are in the right path of the sport, we can achieve a lot of things uh, apart from the physical activity that uh, we can improve our mental, men, uh, we can improve our mentali mentality, and we can uh, make, uh, we can uh, get strong, we can, we can be very confidential, we can be uh, improve our, uh, we can develop our leadership mind, we can improve our team quality, we can improve uh, physically and as well as mentally, psychologically and physiologically. Actually, sports is not the field where we can uh, perform only uh, physical activity. Through uh, when we practicing a, a particular skill or niche, along with that, we are improving our self, our uh, body functions also, which uh, which will be with us for a life life. So I don't think that uh, people are not aware of. Uh, not everyone, but there are people who are uh, aware about the uh, income which we get from sports. So, so that that's the uh, lack of that uh, uh, knowledge about the income of we get from the sports. There are a lot of youth who who didn't getting uh, 
any chance to perform their their talent and perform what they are because the parents and the teachers and the society what they are think is sport is just a uh, activity where we can entertain ourselves we can take entertain ourselves that will be uh, what they are thinking actually there is uh, even uh, in the education field also there are uh, students who is belong to sport are achieve a, uh, a good mark see teachers are not everyone but there are teachers who is not supporting their students to get into sport because what they think is uh, sports the field where we get much and we get some uh, injuries we can just just to get out that's what they think but they didn't think the positive side of sport and there are a lot of students there are a lot of at least still now in this uh, in this graph there are uh, students who are uh, not getting prop proper facilities of the chance or not uh, getting any chance to perform their ability there are uh, very talented students in this university but they are not getting proper platform platform to show what they are uh, so and in, uh, personally i can tell uh, from the last 10 years experience in the field of sport i have completely changed physically mentally even emotionally and psychologically and spiritually only because i am into the field of sport so man i can uh, proudly say that i am in the field of sport and i can uh, i can manage everything i can manage everything without any hesitation it's only because of sport because sport gives us a uh, it makes us very confident it makes us to face the people it makes us face to uh, face the situation and make situation uh, clear to us and it makes us to be uh plus in the situation it uh, it may make us pull back makes us to be uh, active in the situation active in the present situation and the uh, as we all know youth are the great asset of the nation and they are the nation they are the they are, uh, they are the indeed of the nation too and they they show their uh, they represent their country in different levels in certain sports and there are a lot of athletes and youth uh, individuals uh, at least who make their country proud in different levels like na- uh, the state national and even international level so that but they uh, the fact is they didn't get uh, the importance they didn't get recognition that actually they want they perform uh, in any um, event that's the end of that Uh, i'm not talking about the elite athletes but the uh, basic athletes there are athletes there are players who want to show their talent but they uh, didn't getting uh, any proper platform to show because there are uh, like partiality in every field such as sports but uh, uh, i hope uh, it will be changed in this uh, uh, new e- uh, in the new year from now as of now uh, i think it will be changed because there are new uh, there are a lot of new rules that come uh, coming this from this year and even in the covid pandemic also and there are a lot of please please uh, be brief ah, sir. Okay. please conclude okay okay, okay. so i hope uh, all the us will get uh, equal importance in all their respective uh, fields and they will get and uh, we are the ones who have to foster them and uh, who have to foster their talent and i hope uh, we can we can make them uh, we can make uh, we can foster their talent and uh, i would like to uh, conclude with this thank you thank thank you very much uh, divya shri and one thing which we have made mentioned that the schools or colleges should support the students who are take pursuing for the sports as our chief guest mr surinder khanna mentioned that how he was discouraged but that he took it as a inspirational for that and he took it that he bought that i will prove them wrong and that is also a motivational thing you are lucky that you are associated or you are in a college which is a university champion alwas college murbidris university all india university champions for last so many years and the sports is a very great thing in your college so i am sure yes. that uh, you will not get that type of discouragement but still no. if anybody discourage you must uh, as our chief guest mr surinder khanna said take a motivational thing and prove them wrong 
but side by side study should be good like he stood first you all should stood first in the if you are pursuing classes also thank you very much uh, ms divya shri now i would like to move to my next youth guest uh, the next youth guest is e ponmati uh, 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 please unmute yourself you have heard our chief guest mr surender khanna and earlier youth guest now we would like to know from you the role of youth in sports e ponmati please அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் ஸோ குட் மார்னிங் ஷூ அண்ட் ஓ ஐம் பொன்மதி அண்ட் ஐ மை கிராஜுவேட் அண்ட் ஐம் கரண்ட்லி பர்சீவிங் ஃபிசிக்கல் எஜுகேஷன் இன் அட்வான்ஸ் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஃபிசிக்கல் எஜுகேஷன் மேங்களூர் ஸோ ஐ வுட் லைக் இட்ஸ் ஓனர் டு டாக் இன் இன் ஃப்ரண்ட் ஆஃப் அவர் சீஃப் கெஸ்ட் மிஸ்டர் சுரேந்தர் கண்ணா ஃபார்மர் கிரிக்கெட்டர் ஸோ மை டாபிக் இஸ் அபவுட் த ரோல் ஆஃப் யூத் அண்ட் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் த எவ்ரி எக்ஸ்பர்ட்ஸ் ஒன்ஸ் அ பீனோ so sports is a universal shared human culture it teach us a discipline uh, it improves the physical health and the mental health is the most uh, obvious benefit so you can learn uh, the importance of the team work and the leadership quality it gives an opportunity for uh, you to learn the practice the feel for a life so <clears throat> learning to work as a team uh the young uh, children uh, they uh, they can learn the social skill as well as and uh, <clears throat> the sports is, uh, society can even influence uh, our understanding uh, of a uh, gender uh, gender roles and the social economical issues so people thinks that sports is only a physical activity but it's not like that it's a most important thing that sport teaches the psychologically trains a person in my personally i felt i have lost a lot of matches i was uh, lost a lot of things in my life but personally i was uh, psychologically i was ready for whatever the situation is wherever and wherever the situation is it taught me to achieve my goal to uh, to go through or go through my goals i know the uh, what's my goal is so uh, sports teach me that and especially the discipline uh disciplines where uh, the more of about the knowledge we get from the sports is discipline so um, the sport is a great diverse uh, being a women so it is a sport is a great diverse of uh, gender equality so india like a traditional living country there is a lack of uh, women sports persons in our country uh, so uh, <clears throat> nowadays it's the thing is changing the gap between men and women is changing compared to the the history of sports women now it's it's bit changing but there's a still the lack of the women uh, players uh, or uh, women coaches or women uh, um, <clears throat> women officers or lack in our country so i wish that it should be uh, we should promote the women to play sports so parents and uh, the institutions thinks that uh, uh, the sports is the only things of unnecessary things it's only type of the physical activities so i guess that that's not a true we should explore our uh, sports activities and as well as we should achieve them the only goal we can uh, achieve through sports is not only is getting medal or uh, uh, getting the team sports and whatever it is it's only thing we can psychologically prepare that leads to our life uh, leads to our life it's a good manner we can live uh, we can live genuinely and uh, the discipline in a sports is very important to us so it teaches the discipline as well as it provides the young people to learn the skills and take the risk and achieve their goals the self motivation and uh, psychologically the whatever situation they can handle it occurs through through sports like uh, uh, roni kot says if you can believe it the mind has to achieve it so thanks for this opportunity to given uh, given by to me it's very thank you and andri thank thank you very much uh, ms uh, ponmati for giving your views and you have mentioned about the women uh, players yes india is although many sports have opened and everywhere the women are doing very well and uh, especially to encourage uh, one uh, bollywood movie chak de india was uh, made and it has given a very good moral boost up for all the women players and it depends on you and how you are going to play i will just tell you my mother uh, when uh, she did her uh, msc chemistry in 1948 she was a gold medalist but she was also a state uh, uh, champion 
almost all the games, whether badminton or uh, hockey or kho kho or uh, swimming or even uh, running and this thing. So it's not like this. I'm talking of 1948 time. It's at that time also, women were participating everywhere. It's still they are participating. It all depends. Now the time is changing fast. So if you all will come forward, definitely India will also be the world champion in all the uh, other sports also, like what we are doing in men's cricket. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Ms. Ponmati, for giving your views. Now I would like to go to my next youth guest. And uh, she's uh, Ms. Lavita Snehal D'Souza. Ms. Lavita, you have heard our chief guest, Mr. Surinder Khanna. You have heard the earlier youth guest. Now we would like to know from you the role of youth in sports. First, you introduce yourself and then uh, tell about your views. Please unmute yourself. Uh, yeah. So, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Snehal talking on behalf of Roshni Nilaya College. So, so we celebrate uh, Sports Day on August 29th. And uh, as far as my point of view, sports is really part of, like it's a very important thing in our life. And uh, when we compete, losing and winning is part of our, uh, winning and losing is part. So anyone shouldn't get discouraged if they lose because all what you have to do is you have to enjoy while you're playing sports. And uh, when we engage ourselves in sports, Sports, we young people avoid substance abuse because these days a lot of youth are getting into substance abuse and drugs and smoking. So all what I say is when you get into sports and if you do good regularly exercise, uh, you you don't feel like taking uh, you don't feel like taking drugs or smoking because people take this like youth they take this for uh, pleasure or maybe because they want to get away from stress. So these are the things why they take drugs and smoking. So exercise, regular exercise, do a lot of good things to your body. It, it helps your cognition. It helps your uh, physical growth. It helps your mental growth. It helps even your psychological growth. And when it comes to team sports, like there are a lot of uh, sports which we play in team, like cricket, kabaddi, then uh, yeah, there are a lot more. So we develop uh, team spirit and teamwork we learn to organize and we learn to yeah we learn uh, we learn to be friends we make new friends so that is another thing in sports as we make new friends new contacts we go up further and we grow healthier like when we do exercise and we when when we get into sports so and depress depression and anxiety is also another problem these days youth face so Depression has become really common these days, so everyone should get into sports. Like it's, it becomes important for a youth to participate in sports. There are a lot of opportunities in colleges these days, and because of lockdown, yes, it be, because of lockdown we have lost a lot of competition. We couldn't go for many, but if there was no lockdown or COVID, there are a lot of sports competitions going on every month. Uh, something or the other. It might be kabaddi one month, then it might be running, or it might be uh, weightlifting and all those things. So there are a lot of benefits uh, when you get when you do exercise or when you do sports. So if you are if you are into sports, exercise regular exercise is a must, and it's not important. And everyone has to wake up early in the morning. Sorry, even if you do exercise in the evening, is also uh, a lot more beneficial. So regular physical activity benefits health in many ways. So it helps your uh, heart rate. It helps your uh, even obesity. Uh, people who are obese, it's not necessary for them to run. Even walking, fast walking can help a lot. They might lose weight through that. And uh, like right now we have noticed because of technology, a lot of children are not, uh, do not engage much in sports. They are, they are so into technology and online games. And yeah, because of all that, they forget about the outdoor games. So we need to encourage uh, our uh, children to get into outdoor sports also. 
and then organizational sports activity helps children develop and improve cognitive skills yeah like i said cognitive uh, cognition also gets improved when you get into sports and high school athletes are more likely than non athletes to attend college yeah so another reason why there are more like the one who are into sports they attend college regularly and uh, the one who are not they might be they might take leave a lot of leaves because us uh, for uh, athletes like us and the sports people like us uh, sports is the main reason which makes us to come to college and when we win medals when we win uh, trophies and all for college it makes ourselves proud even the college proud and even uh, please be brief walk, yeah so all what i want to say is everyone should uh, come into sports and no matter what it is you just needs to enjoy it winning and losing is part of uh, sports yeah thank you thank you very much uh, ms lavita and to, you have mainly emphasized that the sports can keep you away from the vices like drugs or smoking etc uh, you have heard our chief guest uh, he what he said is that out of 400 people for last so many years he is one of them who represented india how proud moment for him if he would have been also involved in those vices you would have not seen him today here and preaching you all this is what if you all youth just think of we are just thinking how uh, how great is virat kohli or sunil gavaskar or mr khanna or who are but we have not thought what hard work they have done if you all will if they would have gone in the vices of drinking smoking or drugs etc they would have not been on the map of where they are today so that is why what you have said is very right that sports keep you away but take the sports properly and never be disheartened whether you lose or win you can rebound again and uh, that's uh, the sports is meant spirit thank you very much uh, ms lavita for giving your views now i would like to call upon my next youth guest and he is uh, mr uh, palash sharma mr palash sharma uh, you have heard our chief guest mr surinder khanna and your earlier youth guest now we would like to know from you the role of youth in sports please introduce yourself and uh, give your views thank you thank you mr lal uh, my name is palash i am a student counselor and uh, i had been uh, working with lot of students who want to take up their career not just in sports but also in sports health so uh, uh, mr sharma can you just tell us uh, where are you in which city you are i am from noida okay go ahead yeah so uh, so basically i i had been working uh, with lot of uh, student lot of youngsters and uh, i'm seeing uh, 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 basically the uh, energy and the uh, uh, perseverance to pursue sports have increased over a period uh, since uh, 1999 when i was a kid uh, since then uh, till 2011 i've seen uh less number of people coming up uh and taking sport as a full time career but uh, since 2011 uh, there's a total difference in the uh, y generation that that has been from y generation to z generation and uh, the uh, 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 youngsters the youth are more enthusiast about taking sports as uh, their career and one of the major reason what i think is social media uh due to the introduction of social media especially instagram and facebook uh, uh the youth is getting more more aware about uh, uh uh sports and they are getting more motivated about uh, how how uh, their neighbor or someone from their city is getting all the enlightenment as uh, surender ji mentioned today uh, how how proud he feels uh, being a part of uh, 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 uh like uh, within 400 uh, uh, indians out of uh, 1.5 billion indians so uh so that is that is one of the most motivating factor that plays uh, uh seeing uh, your friends your colleagues your acquaintances uh, uh getting recognitions in different different sports different fields 
just just an example uh, uh, look at to the current indian team uh, which is full of uh, all the young talent that came not just from uh, tier 1 cities but also from tier 2 cities uh, such as rajkot so uh, 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 there there are uh, uh, so all all in the current uh, indian team if we see uh this uh, players like uh, uh, uh rishabh pant uh, players like uh, uh, mohammad siraj who is who is the youngest player so these they have uh, dedicated their uh, lot of lot of time playing ranji playing uh, domestic cricket to get that uh, particular uh, platform and uh, as i was talking about social media so ipl uh, is one of the biggest leading ground to highlight these players and bring them up uh, uh, like uh, uh, bring these talent uh, coming from different tier 2 tier 1 cities uh, for uh, indian cricket team uh, now uh, 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 through ipl there were a lot of videos which i've uh, seen like uh, 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 floating around on uh, instagram on facebook uh for rishabh pant for uh, ajik rahane for uh, uh, rohit sharma which which actually had uh, promoted uh, uh, a lot of a uh, lot of enthusiasm across the youth and uh, which had actually motivated each and every uh, uh, youngster uh, to take sports as a full time career and as i mentioned uh, uh, youth was not just enthusiasts taking sports as full time career but also sport health is something becoming very popular among the youth uh, they are knowing more basic about uh, how the body functions uh, what are the muscles what are the uh, joints pinnacles how how things go around and this is becoming a uh, one one of the leading field across the globe uh, uh, as a full time career so uh, uh, like according to me i i have been a football uh, uh, enthusiast and a football sports person uh, during my college and uh, my school time uh, i i personally feel that uh, sports should be a continuous part of your daily routine and you should do something uh, which which can actually not just help you to stay fit but also burst your stress the daily stress that you gain across in a daily grind so i i would like to conclude and thank you mr lal for giving me such opportunity to be in uh, 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 front of all my youth colleagues and uh, especially in front of uh, uh, one of one of uh, uh, our uh, 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 famous uh, surendra khanna ji uh, so thank you mr lal thank thank you very much uh, mr palash sharma for giving your views yes you rightly said about the social media uh, because there are so many reports uh, people always criticized about the social media it's a, you have to see which side of coin you want to see and you rightly said if you are positive for the social media if you are taking good things from social media one can be motivated and that's what happened in uh, sports uh, which you rightly said that because of the ipl and because of the social media people have started getting more attracted just think of the time when uh, mr khanna has started or before that uh, there were no social media but they were quite dedicated but right now yes if youth will utilize the social media in a proper way try to get the positive things from the social media they can achieve whatsoever they want they can learn sports even sitting at their home uh, during the covid 19 that is also they are in the social media so thank you very much uh, mr palash sharma for giving your views now i would like to go to my thank next you. i would like to go to my next youth guest and uh, she is miss uh, shibana banu abdul kani uh, miss shibana banu abdul kani you have already heard our chief guest mr surender khanna you have already heard the earlier youth guest who have spoken now we would like to know from you the role of youth in sports first you introduce yourself please unmute introduce yourself and speak please thank you a warm welcome and a fresh morning to everyone gathered here i my name is shibana banu abdul kani i'm doing my ug program uh, in alazhar college torbula 
I'm, I'm glad to have this opportunity and special regards to Lal Goel, sir, and inspiration from for the youth from Surinder Khanna, sir. I'm happy to be a part of this. Thank you so much for the, such an opportunity. So let's talk about youth. Let's talk about role of youth in sports. Talking about sports and youth sports. Sports are all forms of commonly organized physical activity that sticks to use, retain, or develop physical abilities and skills through casual or coordinator, coordinator participation while providing entertainment to participants. The term youth sports refers to any sports events where competitors are younger than adult age, whether children or adolescents. Youth sports include primary and secondary school sports as well as sports, whether casual or organized, play outside the education system. Sports play an important role in improving physical and mental health and inspiration, IQ membership, and social inclusion. There's evidence that, evidence that sports and play enhance child development, learning, and encourage better academic performance. Youth participation in team sports encourage fitness, wellness, create trust, and can maintain mental health. Studies have also demonstrated decreased risk of substance use, including alcohol use, smoking, vamping, and illegal drugs use in young people who play sports against who those who don't. Sports is an opportunity for children and young people to learn. It provides a uh, practice feel for life. For example, learning to work as a team teaches youth social skills that will help them to grow as human, not as athletes. Youth participation in sports can develop teamwork, leadership, self-confidence, self-discipline, and coping skills. Experts agree that encouraging in engaging in youth sports teaches teamwork, social skill, good behavior, self-discipline, team spirit, and listening all of which are vital value as one's progress into adulthood. Youth sports are excellent opportunity for youth adults, youth athletes to become involved. Experts also claim that participation in youth sports creates self-esteem and trust and have a positive impact on youth sports. Some athletes can experience a loss in flexibility, coordination, and balance during the teenage years which does not only really raise the risk of injury, but also affects the success of sports, putting more tension, anxiety, and social pressure on the young athletes and have a negative impact on youth sports. Gender affects participation in youth sports by age 14. Boys are twice as active as girls. There are many reasons why some girls rarely participate in sports and physical activity, discrimination, others males, medias, devalue female sports and activity, low self-esteem, awareness of image, lack of confidence, embarrassment. When it's come to nation building, the sports has a major part to play and the same is evident from the following. In the psychology of a country, it stimulates skills such as commitment, dedication, teamwork, and enthusiasm for fitness. For the youth strategy adopted by the government, desire has dedicated a pillar to youth health and well-being, including a specific objectives to promote and sports, youth fitness, physical activity among young people, a separate strategy on youth sports, fitness, and physical activity, as such as does not exit in Romania. Sports can contribute significantly to international, national, and local efforts to provide children with a healthy start. It can also those who have not gotten a good start and equip young people with requisite knowledge, skills, personal and social resource, and encouragement to successful make a critical life changes. We see a lot of success story in sports with athletes doing brilliantly and learning a name for themselves. But it's a story of a smart man turning around failure into success that has a little flavor and something one can take inspiration from. MS Dhoni, a 20 year MS Dhoni. MS Dhoni came to Karajpur in search of job and worked as a ticket counter for three years. Despite showing great tendency toward cricket, it wasn't all easy for him. He did well for the India aside and was drafted in. But then again, his sailing was rough and with a doubt of him not featuring in the coming games, he turned it around with his determination and spirit. And what we have saw him as his future India captain. 
Sports build good social connection and better environment are usually healthier and happier for those who live in them than place where physical fitness is not a focus. Sports create youth to be stronger, healthier, happier, and safer. Safer. You, uh, sports is merging today as an important aspect of country's socioeconomic growth. Active participation in sports increase the health and productivity of society. Lower medical costs reflects character, discipline, great, lead, great leadership, and improve social stability. Therefore, sports is an inevitable part of life. It's a nation builder and need more support in the field of sports. Youth is essence for sports. Getting young people to engage in sports provide them with the essential experience that can be used later in life to a great advantage. In sports with the achievement and victory, humiliation, disappointment, loss, once come to face to face with the realities of life. Role of youth in sports helps youth to be, become better contributors to society. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Shibana Banu Abdul Kani, for giving your views. Yes, you are right. The sports plays a very important role, even for the career of youth, because once you undergo with the success and failure in your uh, in the sports, you know how to deal with it. And once you become uh, will well be either doing a, a professional job or manager or uh, owning your own company or any profession, you will this this uh, quality of a youth plays a very, very important role at that time because you know how to deal with the situation even if there is some urgency, emergency or success or failure, one has to deal and that is why this, they say the sports is very, very important and you are rightly said that sports can play a very, very important role. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Shivana Banu Abdul Kani. Now I would like to go to my last youth guest and she is Ms. Sri Lakshmi Haridas. Ms. Sri Lakshmi Haridas, are you there? Uh, please switch on your video. We can't see you. Ms. Sri Lakshmi Haridas, please unmute yourself. Uh, Ms. Sri Lakshmi. No, I think she is not there. Uh, she is. Uh, she was there till now, but uh, some technical or problem. In case if you join, please join again. No problem. Just we will see if we will have time. Now I would like to go back to my chief guest. Uh, uh, Mr. Khanna, Mr. Khanna, you have heard all the youths today, their views and how and who they are for the sports as well as for cricket. So we would like to know from you now the, your concluding uh, uh, motivational and inspirational again, I will say, uh, because you all, whenever you speak, you inspire. And I can tell you all the youths who are watching this show, Mr. Khanna is such a person Whenever I talk to him, I feel inspired from him. Uh, he wakes up very early in the morning and he's have a very fixed, healthy routine. And that's why he keep himself fit. And one should try to follow such type of people who are very well disciplined. And that is the quality of Mr. Kanna. And we must, uh, uh, we are thankful. I, am, I can see Ms. Sri Lakshmi uh, there. Can you unmute yourself, Ms. Sri Lakshmi? Ms. Sri Lakshmi, can you unmute? Yes. Yes, I'm sorry. I lost my connection. No, your net is very weak, Ms. Sri Lakshmi. Uh, just try to speak something, whatsoever you want to, uh, because time is short. Yeah. Yes, please. Go ahead. Role of youth in uh, sports, Ms. Sri Lakshmi. Okay. Please. Ask, please. Uh, in, can you hear me properly? Yeah, we can hear you. Can just you hear me? Yes, yes. Just introduce yourself and you speak. Sure. Okay, sir. Okay, uh, so hello everyone. I'm Sri Lakshmi Haddos. I'm an 11th grade student of Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan Porto, Trishur, Kerala. Uh, I feel really honored to be here speaking in front of such an eminent player, Mr. Surinder Khanna, the chief editor of Global TV, Lal Goyal, sir. Thank you so much for giving me such a great opportunity. So uh, I would like to start with a, with a quote. With a quote. Sports are such a great teacher. I think of everything they've taught me. Camaraderie, humility, how to resolve difference. These are the words of the legendary basketball player, Kobe Bryant. Participating in sports activities from a young age is a necessity more than a running. Of course, it builds your body, makes you stronger, and teaches you the five Ps of positive youth development, that is competence, confidence, connection, compassion, and caring, and character. But above all, 
I feel that the hugest gain one can get from playing sports is the will to get up when you fall. You get to taste both victories and failures at a very young age through sports. It teaches you how powerful hard work is. Just as Kevin Durant once said, hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. Sports also help us to be calm and composed under pressure and to think quick and sharp. Playing team sports also helps kids to socialize and come out of their nutshells. I'm from Kerala, and here there's a field in every single corner. You won't really know to whom it belongs to. It's more like if it's a field, it's all right to play there. And let me just tell you, even in this most local form of sports, which we play solely for our enjoyment, there are rules. It's a foul if you touch the ball with your hand or if you score an under net. So knowingly or unknowingly, we be become disciplined. We learn to follow a set of rules through sports. We learn to play for the team. Believe me, it takes a huge heart to give a pa. Play for the name on the front of the jersey and they'll remember the name on the back, said Tony Adams, a great football player. Now, just as sports is important to the youth, youth is also very important to sports. The sports industry mainly comprises of the young generation. Sports has mainly been a preserve of those in their youth as that is the point at which we still have the strength, the agility, the mindset and the motivation to be actively involved in. In most sporting activities, one is said to be at their prime in their youth. From playing with your mates in your school ground to playing at a World Cup, it's the youth of every generation that is building up the legacy of sports. I'm pretty sure all of you remember watching someone score a goal or a six on the TV and deciding that you want to be like him or her. That dream of every child is a powerhouse of sports. Let me give you my example. Honestly, I'm more of a studious kind, but if I have to choose between an hour before my physics text and a fine game of badminton without even thinking, I would go for the game. And I'm sure every kid will because that makes me feel lively it boosts my energy and brings a smile to my face youth comprise a large part of the world's population but one fourth of them would be involved in different kinds of sports professionally and the rest would be its ambassadors because half the fan population is also the youth so without doubt we can conclude that the youth is the most important segment of the population to sports now let's say what hinders the role of youth in sports let me just give you an answer Suppose you got the opportunity to Please represent your state. Yes, sir. Your state at the national level, but the game was on the day before your 12th mathematics board exam or something. And 99% of the Indian parents would ask their kids to stay back and prepare for their boards. You know why? Because they just don't feel it's important enough. We all have to change our mindset. It's not going to be easy, I know, but it is essential if we want sports to develop in our country. Here, anything other than academics? No, no, you're that, not. What is that? Two marks in a max. So, so um, I feel that for sports to develop, both. Uh, no, your net is giving problem. Anyways, uh, Miss uh, uh, Sri Lakshmi, you have made your point. Thank you very much. Um, my apologies. I forgot. I have overlooked one of our guests. His youth guest is still there, and uh, she is Miss Agnes. Uh, uh, please uh, both go the ahead. parents of the children Ma and also Miss, Miss now, Sheila, even at the screen Miss, time Miss, when we are so every house. Th thank you. Obviously, thank calling the youth is the heart and soul. Of the thank you, Miss uh, Sri Lakshmi. Sorry because uh, your net has gone. Uh, so in between. Anyway, now uh, Miss Agnes, please uh, go ahead. Uh, time is limited. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, very good morning uh, to Surendra sir and Nal sir for giving me this opportunity. Uh, on to this topic. Why is sport important and engaging for youth? As an athlete, a future teacher and a coach, I can both personally and prof uh, professionally attest to the incredible importance of sports in the youth's development. Youth's body develops when he intensely practices, when he intensely engages himself in the process. When they need, it's not only need, but it is meant to be physically active in order to develop himself. Health is the absence of illness, but 
uh, fitness on the other hand is the presence of physical capability so i strongly put forth that the youth are uh, more fitter in the field of sports youth need to firstly develop essentially on the components such as uh, stamina which is the aerobic capacity uh, his uh, suppleness their flexibility agility timing uh, his coordination and fine motor skills the uh, physical activity is accelerated in itself it is its own reward and most often uh, it brings within a self confidence or a well being that is in fact the major uh, key to the sports which makes it fun sports because it is uh, physical in nature it allows youth to learn so much about uh, themselves in uh, internally and externally it might be physically his uh, body appearance or it might be externally and what they are capable of uh they also face challenges challenges are very important the individual is put down in a situation where he is uh, he is receiving or he himself is into that action or the the pressure of the game which is in that containment environment uh it also creates a pathway to and through the challenge sports is fully engaging simultaneously it involves in action uh containing all the four uh, domains such as physical cognitive uh, affective and social domains according to me i put down the role but uh, it's not about the role of the youth but it is the rule of the youth in sports not only preparing and playing is uh, the key to win but the matter of winning is rather playing and preparing it is the main key point which is uh, which makes an individual or a player defined and centered uh, i like to uh, put down these beneficial points which are given to youth from sports fitness is established to a youth which uh, sets him to which sets him takes him to heights to stages for lifetime benefits uh, sports also creates body awareness body image in other words we can just say it's just body functioning we can make it internally or it might be fashion related or it might be appearance it um, the a sportsman is just uh, he is seen and he is identified because there is a difference between a normal person and a sportsman who is identified far more better than the normal person excitement of movement which is just the kinesthetic uh, reward that he gets with with his skills and his techniques which he is learning uh the another one is multi dimensional multi dimensional itself says that uh, two or more type of learning which is experimental and abstract learning he first orally listens to his coach he then uh, exhibits to his friends and co players in the field and he executes through his practices he these are the three key points which mainly works to a player or an individual inside the field of play which is oral listening and uh, executing through his practice uh, challenges challenges are be, be that brief. he is put down, yeah sure uh, challenges are nothing but uh, he is put down into that pressure and that fear not to put down not to let down the team the fear to not to let down the coach or the co players or himself the name of the state the district or anything uh, finally comes it all the way all the way after these points comes the success and uh, i would like to conclude with this thank you thank you very much uh, mr agnes uh, yeah. in the end uh, mr our chief guest mr surendra khanna what message you would like to give uh, just unmute yourself uh, mr khanna please unmute please unmute no it has not been unmuted uh, no yes please what sure, sure. short very short message which you want to give to the youth please well i listen to all the young boys and girls uh, they're very enthusiastic and on the right track the social media is also helping quite a bit uh, a great thing about uh, outdoor sports is i have seen a lot of introvert kids when put into uh, outside sports field sports team sports after a while they become difficult to control and they are extroverts i'm talking about 8 year old 10 year old a lot of parents come to my academy and say the boy is very shy 
girls are supposed to be shy but boys are very shy and i say you leave them here for a month and then you will come and complain that he talks too much so that's the kind of uh, uh, effect impact it has on young children and also uh, not only it makes you physically stronger uh, it teaches you to work in groups it also creates leaders because in my academy in uh, every tournament we have a different captain we give opportunity to everyone to captain the team when he is good enough to play in the team and then we decide after one year or two years who is the best man to lead so same way when they go into the corporate world they are leaders in their own right so not only that you are winning medals and getting fitter you got to be physically strong when you train and wow. mentally very very tough as well Okay. then only you will be able to handle the 150 million people okay. you're not competing against lal saab or surinder khanna okay competing thank with 150 million so you got to prepare you. yourself in such a manner thank and i wish you all the very best and uh, thank that's what we can do thank do well in life stay fit in pandemic uh, must observe the social distancing and wear the mask and also wash your hands uh, we got to learn to live with pandemic these vaccines are all uh, thank you all confidence thank, thank you very much uh, mr khanna thank you very much mr surender khanna for giving such thank a motivational you. and inspirational uh, views today and i am sure all the youths who have uh, participated and who are watching are going to be enlightened by this and today's program which has been live telecasted by v4 news global tv v4 stream uh, malnadu tv news gaon se samvad saroka news as well as it was shown live on facebook and youtube and our endeavor is to bring to you everyday new topic and tomorrow as you all know the india is celebrating our republic day so tomorrow the role of youth in republic india and our chief guest is dr cb anand bos ies one man expert commission on labor government of india so please tune Alta, in tomorrow before yes. you go yes please every countryman in india and abroad any all the indians a very happy republic day yes and same to you all and what he said is yes everyone in advance the happy republic day so tune in tomorrow for media conference with lal goel at 10:30 am thank you very much mr surender kanna thank you all the Welcome. youth all the youth uh, young leaders who have joined today and thank you all the viewers for watching our show thank you very much